All right, so one of my favorite things to do is to be able to give back to the community. Now, I love to volunteer at Sea Star Base Galveston with my friend Captain Cody Dunn. He runs a couple of programs out there, a couple of fishing programs out there that I love to be involved with and come out and volunteer and teach the next generation of anglers the love and passion that we have for fishing. Now this week I went out there back to back days. On Thursday they have a local school come by. They have a after school program, fishing program. What about 15 to 20 kids? And this week was the last week of that program. The end of the school year is wrapping up. So Captain Cody Dunn and Sea Star Base Galveston wanted to do a a little fun fishing tournament for the kids. There was a first place who caught the most fish, also smallest fish and biggest fish caught of the day. So here's some footage from earlier this week. Ten. Uh oh, she's gonna come in. She comes. She's catching up. You got it. You may help. There you go. That's a red. No. Croker. Uh, nope. I thought I saw a dot on it. No dot. It was his eyeball. He got two dots. Whoa. What's that sound he's making? He's croaking. You can get it on. Oh. It's not on the deck. Net. net, net. Here, Matt. Come here, come on, Matt. Pose, no, don't lift it up, don't lift it up. Stop. There we go. <laughs> I think that's that big fish. I think that's the winner. Yeah. I think that's the winner. That's a pretty red. Okay, there we go. Looking winner, good. Winner. Take your mask off three. just for a minute. Smile, big smile. Oh, that's beautiful. Y'all are handsome. Got it? Oh, boat flip. That was a great boat flip. That was a great boat flip. 16. Who's going to win, boy or girl? Girls? You know, I just love watching these young kids get out there, these children, these the next generation of anglers. You can see how quickly they become passionate about fishing. They... You see the excitement in their face, you hear it in their voice when they're landing the fish or telling you how many fish they've caught today. You know, it's just, it's it's great to see how much, how far these kids have come in the last 10 weeks that this program has been going on. From never casting a line before, never using a spinning reel before, never baiting a hook, never taking the fish off. Some of these kids were deathly afraid of the even getting close to the fish or touching the fish and it's great to see them handling their own fish and handling their own bait and taking care of their own tangles and and even helping each other out there's just some kids that just don't want to touch the fish which is completely and totally 100 percent understandable i mean they're slimy guys and they're squirmy so you have other 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 there are other students there are other kids there are the classmates coming over and giving them a hand and helping them take off the hook so i love seeing that stuff that's it that's it Time. it's done who's the winner I wonder who won. There's no way. You got it. <laughs> what's, your number? what's your final number? What's your final? 20? You got 20 fish? What's that look on your face? Most fish caught? I think that would be you, right, Arlen? All right. Arlen won the most fish caught. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Here, stand next to Cody. Get a picture. Stand next to Cody. Yeah. Yeah. Get a picture. Yeah. With 20 even. 20. A nice round number. <laughs> and we're going to send this to your email address. That's O2. Ready? <laughs> All right.
<laughs> he's, he's less distant. Okay, okay. Who else we got? All right. All right. Who, who got big fish? All right, biggest fish was Mason with a 16-inch red fish. 16-incher. Come on, Mason. Ain't that a beautiful trophy? Come on, come on. Simon, I mean, you can get in there if you want for the picture, bud. That's all right. Yep. Let's, let's, I gotcha. Let's get you. Let's get you. All right. Okay. And then the smallest fish, Mr. Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln. <laughs> three-inch croaker. Oh, three-inch three croaker. croaker. That's hard to catch. Smallest fish. Woo! On a one-off circle hook <laughs> on a whole shrimp. Oh, my goodness. The shrimp bigger than the fish. That takes skill. All right, so like I said, this was the first day of back-to-back -back days. We also had a school come in from Oklahoma, part of their STEM program. And what they came to do is to Galveston and look at the waterways and visit and to kind of take a, a tourist, kind of take an ex educational tour of what we have going on in Galveston. Now, it was great to see these kids, I mean, they really, children never cease to amaze me because like 90% of them didn't know how to use a spinning reel, didn't know how to flip the bell, didn't know how to handle fish. And by the end of the day, they were doing just that. They were handling the fish. They were baiting their own hooks. They were getting their own tangles out. I mean, and the passion and the enjoyment that you see out of these kids when they're catching the fish or explaining to you how they lost a fish. It's just great to be part of. I love, love doing this kind of stuff, but enjoy this video. There you go, we got a fish on. There you go. Pin fish. It's your first fish ever? Your second fish ever? He sees that sunlight. Let's go back down. There he is. Big old gaff top. Catfish. Big catfish. Oh my goodness. Big gaff top. Oh, look at his head. Look at his head. I never seen one with his head like that. Look at his head. Look at the tumors on that thing. What the heck? What is that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, hey, don't eat other people. <laughs> hey, don't eat other people? Look how slimy the line is that he touched. Look at his head, Cody. I don't like it. I caught that same one last year. Did you? I don't like it. I don't like it. We call that a Cody catfish. Turn it loose. No. <laughs> That's a Cody catfish right there. Cody, how you gonna call dibs on a fish? Yeah. I'll show you a picture. I've got a picture of that fish. There's only. I, I just say you, it's hard to duplicate that. There's very few. Hey, good job, girl. I'm glad you came over here to help us out. You got him? There you go. There you go. Don't. There you go. Good job. See? He's coming up. All right, hold on. He's real pokey now. Here, hold your rod. You think you can get him? That is a black drum. Look at that. Go, nice. Go take your bait and little, fix that. Little bigger, and, and you can. You, this one you can eat. They got a nose piercing. Go ahead and help them out with that. Oh, somebody's lying. It's pooping. Good job, Lou. What's that thing at the bottom of it? I don't know. Is that a tumor? No. Oh, my goodness. May I hold it? Yeah. It's very cute. Get it out. It's cute. There you go. What do you got? I don't know. What is it? Hey, it's pinfish. Back, going and back up. There we go. I caught those three in a row. You caught them? Yeah. We'll let that guy on the floor. They all have the exact same size. 
I know, right? They're all they're all Twinkies. All right, so how many fish you catch? Me? Yeah. How many did you get? 20. 20? How many did you get? I got 19. 21. You got 21 here. Hit him, hit him, hit him. How many 24. fish did you get? How much did you get? 24. How much did you get? 23. Everybody's making numbers up. How much did you 16. get? 16. 16. That's a real number. How many fish did you get? I get 17, actually. In how many fish did you get? I got 17 or 16. I got, I got 17. 17. You got 99? That's a lot of fish. No, you didn't. I got 18. You got 18. Awesome. You got 19, how many fish you get? Seven. Seven, awesome. Oh, how many fish you get? 14, awesome. See, you finished on you finished real good numbers. Hey, I got, got 63, see? 60, oh, you got 63 fish. Oh, you got 63 life jackets. Which is it? How many fish you get? You did we can jump Two, awesome, buddy, that's great. Hey, I got 63 fish. I got a million. All right, so that's it. That's what I have for today. I appreciate you guys. If you are interested, in checking out Sea Star Base Galveston, it is right there. As soon as you come over the causeway, exit 71st, 71st Street in that big square building that is Sea Star Base Galveston. Look online. They do have summer camps coming up. I know a lot of the days might have filled up. For all I know, the camp might have filled up totally. But check them out. Look online. They do sailing. Cody Dunn has his fishing program. Cody Dunn does guided trips out of sea star base galveston he, his fishing program i know he's even done birthdays out there on the docks so look them up i'll leave the link for sea star base galveston below they also have events they have a huge beautiful facility where they do weddings anniversary banquets dinners they do that in their facility as well but check them out online their link like i said is below captain cody dunn's information is below as well you can email him or shoot him a text if you're interested in finding out more about his fishing program. If you're interested in finding out more about Sea Star Base, then please go that route. Click on their link, shoot them an email, and ask them whatever you want to. But you know what? I had fun out there. I, I it's, it's a blessing for me to be part of something like that because trust me, I get twice as much out of it than the kids do i really do but like i said thank you very much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you don't forget to subscribe like comment and share hopefully next time you catch me hooking up thanks